my dears, today we will write Cambridge Primary Progression Test, Stage 5, Paper 2, and Year 2023. So, before starting your questions, please pay attention to instructions. You should read the whole sentence. And here, they write, you may use a calculator. It means during your exam, you can use calculator, okay? Let's start. First question. Write a decimal number between 2 and 3, which has exactly 3 tens and 5 hundredths. Let's look. If you see TH here, the name of place value, if you see TH, you should understand that numbers you need to write after decimal point. First, let me put decimal point. This is decimal point. This is decimal point. And before decimal point, you need to write what? Whole number. So your decimal number is uh, between 2 and 3. Your number between 2 and 3. So it means that it's bigger than 2 and less than 3. So our whole number should be 2. So what about decimal numbers, decimal place? 3 is tens. So after decimal point, the first place is tens. Second place is hundreds. So here, tens is 3 and hundreds is 5. So uh, the number is 2.35. Okay. Second question. Draw a line to match each fraction to an equivalent percentage. So let's look. What is percentage and what is fraction? This percentage equals a uh, fraction multiplied by hundreds. Okay, let me find which one equals which percentage. Okay, now let me start from 15 over 25. 15 over 25. As you see, 15 and 25 can be divisible by 5, so you can easily simplify this fraction so you can get 3 over 5. After that, if you multiply by hundreds, you can get the percentage of 8. So easily you can simplify 105, you will get what? 20. And 20 multiplied by 3, you will get 60 percentage. So 15 over 25 equals 60 percentage. What about 7 over 20? As you see, we need to multiply by hundreds and simplify 100 by 20. That means divided by. We get 5. 5 times 7, that is 35. So 7 over 20 equals 35 percentage. And the last one is 1 over 4. Let's write 1 over 4. Multiply hundreds. Again, 100 divided by 4, we will get what? 25, yes. And 25 multiplied by 1, we will get itself. That is 25 percentage. So let me match them. Okay, let's continue with question 3. Write the number in order from smallest to largest. Okay, how we can find the smallest decimal number? First of all, you need to pay attention your whole number. What is your whole number? Whole number is before decimal point. So what is whole number here? First number, whole number is 7. That's the second. 8 is whole number, here 6 is whole number, 7, and 8 again is whole number. So, which number is the small? Of course, 6. So, 6.8 is the smallest decimal number that we write here. So, there, if you write numbers in a line, please cross out that number from your sequence. So, let me cross out. So, this helps you uh, just find easily, okay? Find the next number easily. Next smallest number is the whole part is 7. So if you have double whole part, you need to pay attention to the decimal part. The decimal part, the first one is 7.8, the decimal part is 8. Second number is 7.6, and the decimal part is 6. Which number is the small? 8 or 6? Of course, 6. So 7.6 is the smallest decimal number. The next smallest number should start with 7. So 7.8, next one 8.6, and 8.7. Okay, let me continue with four. Okay, Mia makes a cube from this nut. Take the face that is opposite the star when the cube is made. So, uh, what is the opposite face of the star? Dear, look, uh, near to star here and here. This shouldn't be opposite face of it because that is near to star and this is uh, the close face, not opposite. And look at here and here. They are also, when you make the cube, it should be close to star. So we have just one choice that is here. This is the opposite face. Good. The question five. Carlos counts back from ten in steps of three. Samira counts back from five in steps of five. Write the first number that they both say the same number. Okay, as you know, what is count back? Count back is the operation of subtraction. You start from big number and you go to the small number, so your series decreases. Okay, let's write Carlos' uh, numbers, okay? Carlos starts 10 and 
count back three by three, okay? So 10 minus three is seven. So next number will be seven. After seven, again, subtract three is four. Again, uh, subtract three is negative, sorry, uh, one. And subtract three is negative two. Subtract three, negative two, subtract three is negative five. This is the numbers of colors and the red one will be Samira's. But Samira starts from five. Uh, and uh, she counts back five by five. It means subtract five and subtract again. So five minus five is zero. Zero minus five is negative five. Negative five minus five, negative ten. I think that is enough. So look at green numbers and red numbers. Which numbers are same? That is negative five. So our answer should be negative five. Okay? Go. Six. Draw a line to match activity to the time. Time. It's likely to take. Have, uh, one has been done for you. Popping a balloon less than a second. Boiling a kettle. Boiling a kettle is it takes time because you're boiling water. The boiling water is more than seconds. I think uh, approximately 15 or uh, maybe 15 minutes enough for boiling water. So boiling a kettle is more than a second. Clapping your hand once, just one second. Yes, this is less than a second. Saying the word hi, hi. This is less than. Second, washing your hands. Washing your hands, I think that's second, just one or two minutes. Okay, so let's continue with seven. Najib has ten donkeys. She shares three bags of food equally between these donkeys. Rajib says, in total, each donkey will get blah blah of bag of food. Write a fraction on the answer line to complete Rajiv's sentence. So, dear, what is the total number of donkeys? How many donkeys do we have? We have ten donkeys, and she shares. Three donkeys between sorry, three bags between ten donkeys. So we need to divide three bags between ten uh, among the ten donkeys. So let me write, let me write it. So three divided by ten. As you know, three is the numerator and ten is the denominator. How we can write as a fraction? Three over ten. That's all. Okay, let's continue with eight. Yosef put some toy animals in a line. Write the ratio of giraffe to elephant. So, if they say giraffe, first you need to write the number of giraffe. How many giraffe do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, we have nine giraffes. So, first place you need to write nine. Okay? So, second, they ask elephant. So, let's count how many elephants do we have. One, two, three. So, we need to write three here. So, our ratio is nine and three. Okay? Question nine. Here is an octagon. What is an octagon? Octagon has uh, how many sides? Eight sides. If the shape has eight sides, that is octagon. Anastasia draws two straight lines inside the octagon to make two triangles and a, a third shape. It boils line start and finish at a vertex. What is vertex? That is intersection point of two lines. This is the vertex, the point of or corner of the shape. Uh, the line don't cross. You need to draw a line, but that line shouldn't cross, okay? I write the name of the third shape and as the CMA inside the octagon. Okay, so uh, let me draw. Uh, so we need to write two triangles. Okay, let me write it. Two triangles. Let me draw here. One and two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We make six sides of shape. So which shape has six sides? That is hexagon. So we made hexagon. So dears, I think today the nine question is enough. So for the next time, we will continue with form 10. If you have any question, please write down under the video and we can discuss our questions and write the answer. Okay, so see you next time, dears.